Hey everybody, it's Casey, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my experience so far with going into the Air Force as an officer. There's a lot of different reasons why people choose to join the Air Force. Personally, my dad's a retired lieutenant colonel, and so he was an officer as well, and I kind of always looked up to him. I grew up uh, in the military lifestyle. I was born on Lackland, which a lot of people might have like a hate relationship with there or with Lackland because that's where um, enlisted go to basic at. I just, I really want to serve my country as corny as that sounds and it has like a uh, textbook response that sounds. Um, I do because like the Air Force has given me a lot growing up uh, so I just kind of want to give back. When I was looking for videos trying to find information about this topic, I couldn't really find any. They were either outdated or honestly there's not that many. Like there's a lot of people talking about um, the enlistment process and like BMT and everything like that. But there's not a lot of, of people talking about their experience with going in as an officer. So that is why I'm going to um, put up as many videos as I can about my process taking the AFOQT and everything that I've gone through so far. First thing, you need to have your bachelor's degree to go in as an officer. Um, so it can be in anything. Mine is in marketing. I'm actually uh, going, I'm still in college right now. You can either already have your degree or you can be working on your degree and have it like apply to go in front of the board like a year before you graduate or something like that. I'm graduating May 2018 and I'm planning on going to the boards in October. When you've decided that you want to go into the Air Force and that you would like to go in as an officer, you need to find a recruiter. And you can't just go to any recruiter because there are enlistment recruiters, there's officer recruiters, there's also the reserve recruiters and then active duty recruiters. What I did, I went on the Air Force website and the recruiter that they said would be for um, the officer for me it wasn't the right person so I ended up just going into the office and I asked them the officer recruiter number before I met up with him he we did uh, I, we talked on the phone and he basically just asked me like different questions making sure that I didn't have a criminal background and making sure that I was that I knew what I was doing and he just asked me a bunch of different questions like medical history and stuff like that because they don't want you to go into their office and waste their time if you're not even qualified like if you've been arrested or something I don't know I don't even know the rules you might even be able to get in if you've been arrested who knows probably not but after you go through all of the um like questions with him on the phone my recruiter sent me a pre-qualification form so it's this long form you have to fill out like everything you have to put speeding tickets, you have to put your height, your weight, your uh, degree, your medications that you're on, I don't know, like your medical background and stuff like that because you can get disqualified for like anything or like you can get a waiver for it but they just have you fill out this long form just to be like, it's kind of like a double check, like they do the thing on the phone and then they send you the form. So. After you go through the pre-qualification form and everything, you'll set up a date to go meet with your recruiter. So I went in and I talked to my recruiter. He just gave me information about OTS and going in front of the board and taking the AFOQT, which if you're going as if you're going in as an officer, you have to take the AFOQT, which is either Air Force or Armed Forces. I honestly I think it's Armed Forces Officer Qualifying Test. And um, if you're going enlisted, you would take the ASVAB. The AFOQT is a little bit harder, but I mean, that makes sense because you're going in as an officer. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have to take that. You have to, uh, the biggest thing that you have to worry about is your application. You hear uh, recruiters talking about the packet or application, whatever they would refer to it as. You fill out a resume, you have to have letters of recommendation, and you have to have like volunteer work and you also write um, a statement of why you desire to commission and basically the package um, you also put like your GPA and stuff like that if you're worried about um, like oh I have a low GPA or I'm not a good test taker so I might not score well on the test that I have to take they don't really focus on like that as much as like the whole person concept. The whole person concept is the biggest thing like they grade you on like everything so like if you don't get a very good test score 
then you can make up for it in other areas like your volunteer work or like leadership opportunities or stuff like that or like your letters of recommendation so there are three different ways that you can become an officer you can either do ROTC through uh, college which is what I wish I would have done because it would have been a lot easier um, and they would have paid for my college but you can do ROTC or you can go through the academy which is pretty hard to get into um, or you can go in front of the board and go to OTS which is what I'm doing so if you want to go to OTS you can either start off enlisted and then go to OTS after you get your degree or you can go in, like, in as a civilian and get your degree and then apply to go to OTS. Earlier, I was talking about like my application and everything and submitting it to a board. And for people who are watching this, they might not know what the board is. So basically, you have an interview and that also gets added to your package. And then you submit everything to a board. And what it is, it's a, um, like kernels and I don't know, they just select people to look over your package and compare it with everyone else's and there's like seven different boards uh, but like half of them are for rated and half of them are for non rated like throughout the year so maybe like four non rated four rated boards they'll look at your application you also put what jobs you want to do down there they'll compare you with the other people who want to do the jobs that you do and they'll just choose whoever and then you'll get either accepted or not accepted to go to OTS which is officer training school and it's held in Montgomery Alabama officer training school is kind of like I mean it's another name for it is BOT which is basic officer training it is not as bad as BMT at all which is what you would do if you were enlisted officer training school is kind of like enlisted basic training and tech school put together because you still have PT in the mornings you still have to wake up they're still very like they yell at you and everything but you also have to do your schoolwork and like you have like your own room I guess well it's not your own room you share it with um, two other people so in that aspect it's kind of like tech school so the way that I describe it to people most of the time is it's like BMT and tech school combined so that's what OTS is and that's where you're gonna go and it used to be nine and a half weeks but they're starting to cut it down so that um, whoo, um they're starting to cut it down and they're taking out a section that you actually do before you go there I don't know exactly because um, it's still pretty new like they just did it they're just starting to do it with the like next class that's coming up so I don't know much about that but so I think right now it's eight weeks long when you're enlisted you go to basic you go to tech school you go to where you're stationed if you're an officer you go to basic and then you go to your station like wherever you're stationed and then you do a TDY to go to your tech school if your tech school is less than six months. I talked about the AFOQT. What is on that is uh, they have math, they have verbal, they have um, navigation, they also have like a pilot section. If you want to go in as an officer, there's two different types of like boards you go in front of. You can either go in front of the rated board or the non-rated board. The rated board is the pilot spot the pilot spots or like navigation or stuff like that it's not very many jobs it's mainly like pilot um, or the non rated is every other job I'm going in front of the non rated board so I don't have to worry about um, like the pilot section of the AFOQT like I'm still gonna take it and you get scored on it but if I get a low score it's not really gonna impact me because I'm not applying to become a pilot so it doesn't really matter but I mean I'm still gonna try but um uh, you want to try and study for math and uh, reading there is also a science section but that goes towards your pilot and navigation scores there is a really good book that I have and I'll link it down below I got it from Amazon I think it was like $30 and it has like it had it's basically a test booklet like a practice test booklet and they have the answers in the back so it's really helpful because you can like brush up on your knowledge and like know what to expect like what type of math to expect like some of the stuff I didn't really remember and I was like oh yeah that's how you do that so it's not hard stuff it's just good to get like a refresher and um, they have like all the sections and everything and like it's really cool I basically have just talked to my recruiter so far right now I'm just studying for the AFOQT getting my letters of recommendation working on my resume that I have to do and 
I'm actually trying to get in some more volunteer work. My recruiter told me that there was a test date available for July 11th and I don't know if I want to take it that soon. <laughs> like I asked him if I could take it at a later date and he hasn't gotten back to me yet. So I may or may not be taking it July 11th or I could be taking it at a later date. But when I do take it, I will definitely do another update video. I might record myself getting my scores back. I'm not exactly sure because if I don't pass, that would just be like, that would just make for a sad, sad video. That would just be bad. That would be very bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just waiting to hear back from my recruiter. So I'm gonna prepare to take it July 11th but I'm going to hope that I can take it later because the boards I'm going for are in October. Well, like that area. And I have to have my uh, application all submitted and finished in September, which means I would have to take the test like end of July, early August, probably end of July to be safe. I'm probably going to take it. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely taking it like soon. So once I get my test scores back, I'll, or once I even take the video, once I take the video, wow, no. Once I take the test, I will definitely do a video um, like talking about it and like saying how hard it was and stuff like that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and give this a video a thumbs up if it was helpful and subscribe to see more videos from me. Bye.